Hello and welcome, my gym leading leaves. So, here's the thought experiment. What if Ash, in the whole run of the show, always got gym leaders, like he did in the original with Brock and Misty, as his companions instead of the characters we got mostly? Now a few things for this. As he had some gym leaders on his journey that were not Brock nor Misty, there was, I think, one per actual generation except Johto. I will, as kind of an honorable mention, replace those. So even Brock and Misty will be replaced in the Kanto section of this video. And because after looking over the list of possible candidates, Sometimes this didn't work out quite well. So I will include Elite 4 members into this too. So it's either a gym leader or an Elite 4 member that is a companion of his. So with that in mind, let's have a look at what other companions he could have had in Kanto. And of course the story would change if we would do that. Not going much into that, but just... There's no broken bike or anything, but for his female companion, and I'm always going one female, one male, ignoring it if he had more companions than two at times, but yeah. One female, one male works, I guess. I would say Erika would be cool. Like, a grass-type specialist? Yeah, that gives us a good variety of Pokémon she could use, and would be a nice little... Diversion of Misty, because Erika is way more calm and collected. So, yeah, there goes that. And then we have the male companion, which... Yeah, Lieutenant Surge, completely out of the question, as an Electric-type gym leader, and Ash having Pikachu. No, that doesn't make much sense, even though I know he had an Electric-type specialist with him in black and white. But that one did rarely use any electric type Pokemon. Oh, it's what well, Carlos, not black and white, but yeah. I think, no, electric type, at least back in the day, they would have kept them as the specialists they are, thus electric. Nah, that wouldn't be good. Then we have Koga. Yeah, I don't see a ninja being his companion at all. Giovanni... Obvious reasons, right? Uh, Blaine... Honestly, he's too old. I think the companions are younger people. So we have to go over to the Elite Four instead. And there we have Lance, which absolutely is a no-go, because Dragon-type, first off, seems too powerful as a companion. He also seems too far ahead for being a companion, if you know what I mean. And there's only one Dragon type in Gen 1, so his team would be boring. But what about Bruno? He basically would fulfill the same role as Brock. And while Bruno is more experienced, the same like Lance, and a bit on the older side, he's not that old. And I guess he would work. And fighting type companion, that would also be kind of interesting. Well, moving on to Joe Toe. Well, in Johto, I struggled a bit between Faulkner and Morty. Both would kind of fit him really well. But I settled for Faulkner instead. The flying type seems more interesting than the very limited amount of ghost types that Morty could have. At least back in the day. And I think... The early one would kinda always get the upper hand because it makes the meeting much easier. That isn't to say that I won't use later gym leaders at all. It's just, if I'm on the fence, that is one of the deciding points. Now for the females, I thought about Claire. Because it could be interesting that she, as an inexperienced dragon tamer, could follow him to learn stuff, basically like Iris did in the black and white arc. But I don't see Claire's design really fitting for that role. And yes, this is purely by design. She seems not good as a companion. Not a bad character, 
okay, but I don't know about her as a companion. Then Jasmine, okay, that would be cool, but I ultimately settled on Whitney because I think she has that companion energy going on that someone like Misty or Serena has. Like, she can be a bit tsundere like but only a bit, not as much as Misty is, and yeah, that would work really well. So that's Johto done. Okay, Hoan was kinda easy, honestly. A fun thought would be Tate and Liza, as they are twins that would be kinda funny, but that would also mean he has two very much the same looking companions that also specialize on the same type. Yeah, I don't like the idea. It would be kind of funny, though. Instead, I want to go for Brawly. Again, a fighting type specialist. We have that with Bruno, but he is very different in his personality and stuff, and he just really fits it. Better than any other male option I have in Hoenn. And I struggled between Flannery and Phoebe for the part of the female companion. Though, with there being a lot more ghost types now, and Ash a lot of times having a fire type on his team, and probably in this scenario would have Torchic as one of his Pokemon, I think I give it to Phoebe. Flannery would definitely work, but Phoebe could just be more interesting, to be honest. And fulfilling a quite different role, being calmer, but still, like, a happy-go-lucky girl. So, yeah, I think that's solid. Then we arrive at Sinnoh, where my first thought would be Aaron. The thing is, though, he could go through an arc where it's like, I want to show the world that bug types aren't bad, they can be strong. But bug types really got strong with generation 5, not 4, so I don't know about that. Instead, I would say, let's go with Rourke. He just wants to show his father that he is capable, that he can do stuff, that he can grow. Thus, he joins Ash to go on his own journey, to learn and, well, grow, of course. For the female ones, I thought Maylene would fit, but that would be another fighting type specialist, which I do not feel, especially as we just had one. So I thought, wait, the only other real option we have here is Candace. And honestly, Candace is fine. An ice type specialist, that's new. We never had an ice type specialist on the companion side. So, yeah, Candace works really well. There we go, that's Sinnoh done. Then we have Gen 5, where he had two gym leaders as companions in Cillin and Iris. Two companions I really liked, to be honest, even though a lot of people didn't like them, but I don't know why, they were pretty cool. First thought was, well, instead of Cillin, we could do Chili or Cress, which, yeah, I could see. But remember what I said about Aaron? Yeah, I think we like go with Burke. He is a bit older, sure, but he would make a fun companion with his flamboyant personality and stuff. And the reasoning of showing the world that bug types can be pretty strong would actually work in this generation. So yeah, Burke it is. For the female ones, yeah, as the Elite Four don't give us much in that case, Chantal could work. Caitlyn seems boring as a companion, to be honest. Lenora being just too old. Skylar works. Skylar is young, energetic, and fun. And flying types, even though we had those before, there are a lot more, especially in Gen 5, we have some cool ones like Braviary. So, yeah. Skylar would be such a good companion for him, so I settle on her. Then we arrive in Kalos, which, at least to me, is the most forgettable Pokemon League ever. Did you know that the first gym leader was a Bug-type gym leader? 
yeah, going through this list, I was like, all oh, right, she existed. And that goes for most of the Elite Four and gym leaders for me when it comes to Kalos. And I hate to do this, but yeah, we're going with the bug type specialist again with Viola. I thought about Corina being a fighting type specialist. The Mega Lucario would work well. And that's basically the only real choices we have for females. Thing is, though, the photography aspect that Viola has makes it very interesting. Having a companion that has taking photos as a hobby is quite cool. And if we shift her a bit from the bug type specialist to more like she uses whatever she catches. She's not really battling at all, just more the photography side and sometimes she does use her bug type Pokemon. Something like that. She would be different enough from Berg, I would say, so it could work. But keep Corinna as an honorable mention. As she would be another fighting type specialist, which we already had some of before, so there's that. The male one, though, Clement was kind of the perfect candidate. The Eli 4 don't give us much, and Ramos just too old. The thing about the age is that the companions shouldn't take on a mentor role for Ash. But if they are significantly older, that's what would happen. That's how you would perceive it, because that's just the typical relationship between old people and young people. They are more like mentors and stuff. Wolfric, I can't see that. So, only real chance is Grant. Which is a bit of a boring thing, but I guess we didn't have many rock-type gym leaders as companions in our little thought experiments here, so... Uh, there goes that, so... Granted is. Okay, Alola. Yeah, Alola doesn't have gym leaders. So... There's that. But we have Elite 4 members and the Trial Captain, so we'll choose from those. Thing is, Ash already had half of those as his companions. Kinda-ish. So, we have to choose from the ones that we didn't. For the male one, yeah, let's go with the normal type specialist of Ilima. I know people aren't quite fond of him because he's kind of boring, but I guess he would fit. He could use a variety of Pokemon and stuff. Yeah, it works. He also can just take on Brock's role of being the cook and stuff. I think that works for him. For the female, I'm on the fence between Mina and Hapu. Though, ultimately, I kind of want to give it Mina because... A fairy type specialist seems very much interesting as a companion. So, yeah, let's do Mina over Hapu. Though Hapu is kept in our hearts. Now, Gala. This also wasn't easy because there's no Elite Four. One little thing though is Beat and Marnie, I don't count. Yeah, they become gym leader later on, but their main role in the games was being rivals. So,. Yeah, I wouldn't pick Beat anyway. Mani would be on the plate, but I think that rule makes sense. And with us, we don't have that many options left. Now, I thought about Nessa. Nessa would be cool, interesting, I like her, that would be a good companion. But then I thought, wait, we have two gym leaders that have other gym leaders depending on the version. Let's do something with that. And it was either B and Gordy, which would be fighting and rock. Two types we already had, but I tend to ignore that mostly. Or Alistair and Melanie. Melanie I don't really see as a companion. And when it comes to Alistair, I like Alistair a lot. But I cannot see him as a companion as well. I prefer him over B, though... Especially with the mask thing, this just seems like a little mini-arc about three episodes that he could fit in, not a whole show, right? 
So it's B and Gordy. And thus the battles for the gyms, which never happened in the gala season, would work against Alyssa and Melanie because they are still gym leaders. So we don't take gym leaders away, technically. Still was kind of hard, but the only real options I had here. So, yeah, there we go. Now on to the final one. Paldia is hard. Let's go over our female options first. We don't have that many. There's Iono, which is an electric type gym leader. I, like I said, don't like the idea of that, even though it happened with Citroen. But yeah, electric is just Ash thing with Pikachu. I could see an argument for Iono though. Quite honestly though, I think she's annoying and I wouldn't want her as a companion. Tulip, she wouldn't work. Just, I couldn't see her work. She's just too busy with her makeup stuff and stuff. Then we have Poppy, who honestly is just too young. Yeah, I know she's still an Elite Four member and stuff, but it would be weird to see a show where Ash and the male companion travel together with such a small child. Yeah, so what other options do we have? Rika, which I cannot see in the role of a companion. I like her, but to be quite honest here, she is good as an Elite Four member. As a companion, not that much. She is too far ahead of Ash, I would say. That leaves us with Katie. Which is a weird one, but to be quite honest, it could work. She travels with him to search for ingredients she never seen before. Like the Herba Mystic, uh huh? Yeah, it's a bit of a stretch, but it's Katie. Now the male ones. Yeah, Hassel is a teacher, that won't work. Brassius. No, I can't really see him as a companion. Kofu, we already have the cooking part with Katie, also he would look weird as a companion, to be honest. Larry, I know you all love him. Larry is cool. But having a whole season of the anime, a whole generation even, with him at Ash's sides, that would drag on too much. That won't work. Quite honestly. And then we have Grusha, which would just be the perfect fit. Grusha is such a good companion. He's a bit less on the talkative side, but the anime could change that a bit. So even that silent type like him, yeah, could work. And honestly, looking at all the other options, that's the only option in my eyes. So, yeah. Now... What do you think about my ideas here? Would you change some? Would you agree with me that these companions would work? Or do you just not like the idea of him having companions that are gym leaders? Because, yeah, there are some problems with that. Tell me all of that in the comments down below. I'm looking forward to see your opinions. Also, while you're down there, earn your own sight as my companion by clicking the like and subscribe button as well as that little bell to keep updated when I upload a video for you. And check out the links down in the description below leading to my Twitter, Instagram and Discord where I post stuff, keep you updated, all the good things, as well as the affiliate link to my Humble Bundle affiliate page where you can buy a game and I get a bit of money off from that. I would appreciate that support, it's no extra cost for you. As well as my merch store where you can buy merch from me that's what my and merch store implies, I guess. And my Twitch, where I live stream every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I hope to see you over there as well, and until next time, bye-bye!